Hello, this is Ibrahim, and in this video I'm going to talk about capturing a whole video instead of a frame of the screen. We have seen how to capture a single frame of the screen in, in the previous video, and um, you know what, let's quickly revise the previous code. So what we have done is we've imported two libraries, open, sorry, three libraries, NumPy, OpenCV, and Pillow. Uh, in this case we've used Pillow to capture the screen with these dimensions, 200 by 300, and with these offsets as well. And then we've transformed that image to NumPy array so that OpenCV can actually work with the image and do certain transformations over it. In this case, we've transformed the image to a gray color image. And then we just displayed and did, done the other procedures of uh, not closing the frame and so on and so forth. So these are basically, we've seen most of these in the previous video. And now in this video, what we need to do, we need to achieve something like recording a whole um, set of frames recording a f recording a whole video of the activity that's happening on the screen. Uh, this could be useful if you want to do something like a, a capture screen software or something. Um, so this could this thing could really help you. Anyways, so let's try to combine what we have learned in the previous videos to achieve this. We have we have seen how to actually um, encode or uh, yeah a set of frames and transform them to a video. We've seen that in the previous videos. We have also seen how to stream a set of frames instead of us doing a single frame. In this case, we want to, and we know that the video is basically a set of frames. So let's go ahead and start, <coughs> sorry, start grabbing, instead of a single frame here, we want to grab multiple of frames. So let's do a while loop, and then while true, like that, and then we keep on so we keep on uh, grabbing the frame. So on, on each iteration of the loop, we are grabbing. So we are grabbing the frame. This is pretty much pretty small. So I'm going to change this to 600 by uh, maybe 500. Yeah, I think that's a good uh, good enough. Just to get you an idea. And then we're transforming it to a NumPy array. That's fine. So each frame we're transforming it to uh, a NumPy array, and then we're displaying it. So so far so good. What we also need to add is that we just want to display, sorry, we just want to do like a, once once the user clicks on escape, we want to exit the frames instead of us closing it manually. So so that's it. So basically what this does uh, is that once the user clicks on escape, you want to, to break the loop. That's it. It's very simple. Now we want to, now that we have a set of frames being displayed to us of the screen, we want to code those and transform them to a, uh, to a video, and we've seen how to do that in the previous videos using the, uh, the codec, the four-letter codecs, 4CC, and Video Writer class. So let's first of all define the type of codec that we want to use to do this, and then um, base this. Uh, this is the link to. I'll post this in the description. This is basically the list of uh, the uh, 4CC codecs uh, representations of the codecs. Um, uh, so we're going to use XVID uh, and PEG4, which is a decent format, if I say so myself. It's a, it has a good uh, uh, compression and so on and so forth. Of course, you could utilize other formats as well. Uh, it's up to you. Anyways, uh, so let's go ahead and define a codec that we want to use using the Video Writer class, like that. And we've seen how to do this in the previous video, so I'm not going to explain this again. So I'm going. You can use the four-letter representation instead of me doing star xvid like this. What we could do is that we could simply do um, x comma v like that, comma and then comma and then the d like that. We could do this. Uh, it's just uh, an, a different way of uh, representing the codec. Of course, this is a very popular one. Uh, you get to see it in many forums and stuff. Anyways, so now uh, let's define a video writer class. This is basically just the codec, the 4CC. Now the class would be as cv2.videowriter. Again, we're going to use the video writer, but instead uh, we're not going to use the 4CC. So there we are. So video writer, and then we want to, the file name of the of the uh, sorry, of the of the video that we want to save, let's name it record. Sorry, record.avi, and then supply in the codec type. 
the 4cc is basically the uh, XVID and then the frames per second rate now this is very important the frames of, uh, per second you want it to be lower than um, well you would want to be make it like something around 8 is a good is a decent number because the the higher frames per second the faster the video would be or the faster the video would look like so in this case let me just go with 8 and now and then we need to supply in the video dimensions that we need now this is very very important because uh, what we need to do is we want to specify a number that the codec can actually work with in this case say for example we have a 600 by 500 with these offsets in here so if we specified 600 by 500 the frame would actually kind of be incompatible to do the coding for this image um, let me rephrase this um, if we specified like in here if we specified 600 by 500 so what the video would do is that this would not be considered as compatible unless there was no offset here zero zero in this case it would be compatible in this case this would be a little larger than this one so what we need to do is that to for this to be compatible with this this has to be in the same dimensions as the video writer that you have specified uh, this might be confusing but hopefully you will understand it as a uh, progress further down so in this case if you want to have a compatible frame with the image grab now what you need to do is that since you have 600 you need to minimize 600 by 100 you will end up with 500 and 500 you need to minimize it from 10 you will end up with 490 if you want to keep these dimensions the offsets here has to remain 0 and 0 in this case you you can go 600 by 500 now this would work uh, however if you have like an offset of 100 and 10 then this would be this would create sort of a problem with this being a little larger than the frame hence it would not be compatible with the image that you're actually encoding for now this is very important to keep in mind so you have to consider this and you have to keep this in mind as you develop your program so let me uh, put this one back as in here sorry and then this one would be 490 so minimize the 500 by the 10 and then you would and you would be for the, you would be working with 490 so let's go ahead i think we're ready to go um so we, what we have done we've specified the code yeah we need to write the frames that we are capturing to the video object that we have created here so the way we do that we've seen how to do that we simply use uh the object video sorry we need to write and then we need to write those frames to the uh, video object. In this case, we are writing img.numpy. Remember that you would want to either write the frame or you would want to write the numpy representation of the frame. In this case, img underscore mp or frame as in as it's represented here. So, in this case, I'm going to store. I'm not going to uh, write the uh, grayscale image. So I'll just ignore it. I'll just write the uh, original is color image the, the colored image so let's go ahead and give this a, a try so uh, run uh, let's save this as a uh, as a different file so let's give this a run run module oh we have a problem here this is not a comma this is actually uh, my mistake so let's run this we have an error here CV there is a typo here we need to have a CV2 uh, instead of CV so let's run this again and we still have a problem uh, okay so I just have to fix this instead of this being frame I just have to uh, put this one in here instead of frame and then because we've commented out frame so yeah uh, let's go ahead and run this let's just uh, quickly recap on this one so we have the codec and we have the video object that we want to uh store the frames in and convert the frames okay so we seem to have everything oh yeah 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 there's something else missing here and then we did not release we did not actually release the the video so now since we have wait key in here we just get rid of this and then we need to close the video object we need to, to inform it to release the recording and stop right there there we go so I think we're good to go now. So let's give this a, a try and see if uh, 
now this is called uh, and let's give this a try and see if this actually works we have a the file name should be record.avi so let's run the module save and run okay so this is actually uh, what's being recorded now this is the shell uh, say for example print x now I'm actually typing this and then we could really write some stuff write some things here anyways so that's it I think that's uh, that's a good enough uh, and uh, we could actually go around playing with this there we go anyways so we can actually stop this by clicking on escape and there we go so this is the shell it has been closed and this is the code and let's verify that we have uh, the video in place so this is the recorded record avi it's 1000 uh, kilo, it's one kilobytes and this is the output of the recording and this is some text I think it has some decent speed so basically that's it yeah uh, I hope that was uh, I hope that made sense and uh, yeah if you have any questions feel free to shoot them my way and of course you can play around with the frames per second here with the dimensions and stuff and so on and so forth so yeah enjoy have a good day